Andy Serkis is best known for his contributions to characters like Gollum in the Lord of the Rings films or the Ape Caesar in the Planet of the Apes franchise. His first film as director, Breathe, is based on the true story of polio victim Robin Cavendish, whose son Jonathan is one of the movie's producers. It's the mid-50s and Robin, Andrew Garfield, a tea broker based in Kenya, meets Diana, Claire Foy, during a cricket match in rural England. They fall in love, marry and travel to Africa, shrugging off the then serious Mau Mau terrorist threat. Their marriage seems idyllic, but soon after Diana becomes pregnant in 1958, Robin is paralysed by polio. Considered opinion at the time was that polio victims as extremely affected as Robin could not survive. Attached to an iron lung and only able to move his head, he's shipped back home to England to die and spends many weeks in a hospital with other polio victims. Those who God loves most he allows to suffer most is the fatuous message of comfort offered by a priest. But Diana's courage and loyalty and Robin's many friends eventually result in a solution and the invention of a makeshift portable breathing apparatus. Robin, how does it feel? Yes. Bloody marvellous. Really? Is the uh, ventilator a little fast? Uh, maybe a little. Yeah? Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> how long has the battery last, Teddy? Uh, after three hours, we think. Isn't this a case where a little more certainty mm. would be appropriate? Well, there's a mains lead as well. Daddy, you're a genius. Well, to be honest, it all turned out to be pretty basic. I used a bicycle chain and stir me out to gears. I don't know why no one's done it before. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Hang on to Teddy. Because you're not a doctor. There's no one to tell you it can't be done. This potentially grim story follows other successful films about men always men, with disabilities like My Left Foot, The Diving Bell and the Butterfly, The Theory of Everything. And while it might not be quite in the same class as these, it certainly provides inspirational material. Garfield makes the most of his obviously restricted role, but it's Foy who steals the film as Diana, who is first seen as a rather snobbish English socialite, but who gradually reveals hitherto unexpected reserves of grit to become literally her husband's salvation. On the other hand, Jonathan Hyde rather overdoes the pompousness of an establishment doctor who has little sympathy for people he dismisses as amateurs trying to help Robin. In a couple of scenes, Circus racks up the tension as Robin faces a crisis of one sort or another. His dog accidentally unplugs the power, fueling the iron lung. Will Diana notice in time? And on a rather ambitious road trip to Spain, there's yet another crisis. As a director, Andy Serkis, on the strength of this film, seems to be capable and efficient, but not in any way visionary. Robin's story is certainly a tale of near triumph over adversity, and the director manages to keep cheap sentimentality at bay. In many ways, this is a very English story about intestinal fortitude and the stiff upper lip. Three and a half stars. Three and a half stars.